Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday, September 28th. Going to run through a few charts here. Uh, here you can see the Kitco gold overlay chart. Uh, yesterday we had that run up and it was touching the uh, 1300 mark, which I've pointed out over the last week is going to be a pretty good resistance level. If it could hold above it, that's, that's a pretty bullish sign, but uh, has to close above there on the end of the day. Uh, each time it's pierced it, which is uh, several times over the past uh, three or four trading sessions, and now it's kind of started to fade back down. Yesterday it slid underneath the previous day's low and uh, this morning it had a, a sharp drop and now it's starting to form a bear flag and uh, most of the action will stop around noon. Afternoon you usually just get a flat line so we'll see where this ends up. I'll show you on the other chart it looks as though we could get another drop down and then it might uh, start to flat line. So let me just pull up the 60 minute chart of gold here you can see 60 minute charts just zoom out a little you can see we had the uh, the pop above the upper trend line and uh, last night we saw a big rally uh, a pretty good move up in the US dollar and that put some pressure on gold and right now it's forming this little bear flag here so we had the uh, more or less the move down and now it's forming this little bear flag could easily see it come down and test this uh, support trend line which falls from uh, way back on the daily chart if I just zoom out a little bit here so we had a good little pierce there I think there was a, a bad uh, a bad piece of data giving a spike down that low but that could be correct uh, either way it's uh, starting to have a pullback a little bear flag I think we could go a little bit lower today and uh, that's about it for gold right now if I take a look at the US dollar here Here's the US dollar. This is a 15-minute chart. So this here is yesterday's price action in the dollar. And this is through the night. We saw this big run up. And uh, we saw US equities actually drop pretty sharply last night. The futures uh, on the S&P started to sell off pretty good as the dollar ramped up. Anyways, uh, it dropped straight back down. Is now forming somewhat of a little bit of a bear flag here and of course the equities bounced right back. Now if I pull this up with the let me just pull the SP500 up so you can see an overlay here. Uh, this was yesterday's session uh, right from here you can see the volume this is when the majority of the volumes traded during regular trading hours 930 to 4 uh, Eastern Time so this is the yesterday's session futures pretty much traded sideways for a majority of the night this morning they tanked uh, and then that was with the US dollar, US dollar went up and then we saw the US dollar drop and it pushed the equities back up. So if I actually just move this up and overlay the US dollar chart here. You can see the inverse relationship as uh, the, uh, the dollar went up this morning, uh, S&P dropped as the dollar dropped fell back down uh, the equities came back up so it's pretty much uh, the markets are moving in sync with the dollar as if the dollar keeps dropping it's going to keep pushing the dollar up uh, or sorry the uh, equities up but um, it looks like the dollar is trying to bounce here which I've been pointing out over the past couple of days it's fallen into that gap window and uh, on the daily chart and it looks like it's it's oversold and ready for a bounce and you can see that uh, in last night's action as it's starting to get pretty whipsawish and uh, the markets are starting to move with it so if we just take a quick look at crude oil here here's uh, the 15 minute chart of crude oil it's the same time frame as the US dollar that I just showed you uh, the 15 minute chart you can see as the the dollar rallied this morning crude oil sold off along with equities and then as the dollar rebounded back crude oil gave back most of its uh, drop and is now more or less just trading sideways here so the crude oil and equities are pretty much moving together uh, other equities obviously are, are continuing to move higher and crude oil if we zoom out has actually been trading uh, sideways for quite for quite a while in this uh, choppy trend it's just kind of been grinding its way up under these trend lines here but uh, more or less it's only up fractionally um, from from uh, from the lows here now if we take a quick look at the market internals I pointed out in the weekend report 
of showing uh, the three different market internals I follow. This one here just is simply the SP500 uh, ETF here. And uh, this red in, uh, indicator here points to uh, panic selling or, or sorry, panic buying in the market. When the majority of the shares are all being purchased, then um, you know that if everybody's piling in and in fear of missing the next move, then that's usually the last wave of buyers. Anyways, the market's closed right here on Friday. Everything on our market internals was showing that the market was overbought and uh, we did see a nice little move down, a three wave correction, and then what we've been getting most of the uh, the time in the past couple weeks is volume goes light during lunch, during light volume there's usually a sideways to upward bias and then of course it starts to climb back into uh, into the afternoon and we've been seeing that pattern over and over again we had a very similar pattern over here with the red indicator you know, the market was completely overbought uh, and then we did see a nice three wave correction down and then same thing happened the light volume took over and then it started to come back up with another short squeeze and uh, we saw another rally into the close so this pattern continues to happen but the market is becoming much choppier and um, usually when it becomes choppy you know it's it's starting to top or it's signs of exhaustion so we'll have to just see what plays out yesterday was a pretty um, it was nice to see some selling into the close but there wasn't all, there was mixed signals there wasn't really any uh, big buying or selling it was just a, a flat day volume was very low so you can't take any move that happens in the market on low volume seriously because um, it won't take much to actually uh, correct that move so we really just are letting the market play out here as uh, the bulls and bears kinda fight during this choppy range it's in a fairly tight range or a, a wide range here so we'll see where it goes and um, and that's about it for now. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.